learning those people's names, their life stories. KSBY news reporter Megan Abundas is sharing a few of those stories with us. She spoke with a longtime business partner of the Montgomery's who were caught in the mudslide, and she joins us now live from Montecito. Good morning or good evening, Megan. Hi, Richard. Local orthopedic hand surgeon Dr. Mark Montgomery and his family were caught in the mudslides. Tonight, we're hearing an outpouring of support on social media from his patients. Dr. Montgomery was an orthopedic hand surgeon in Santa Barbara. His business partner, Dr. Michael Berman, says he was a great doctor and great friend. On social media, comments can be found. He was an amazing man and hand specialist whom I had the pleasure of being treated by many times for the last 22 years. And another from Sasha Gonzalez, I found out the excellent surgeon that repaired my wrist in 2011 was one of the deceased. May his friends and family find peace. And finally, another patient, David Iglesias, wrote, he fixed my hand after a camping accident in 2012, two weeks before my wedding. I cut all the tendons in my fingers. He was able to reattach them. I have full use and feeling in my hand because of Dr. Montgomery. 22-year-old Caroline Montgomery is confirmed as Mark's daughter. Caroline died in her brother Duffy's arm. Duffy and Mrs. Montgomery are surviving. Truly tragic stories. Tonight we're hearing of more victims. Longtime Montecito resident Peter Flore. We're hearing from his close family friend who he's known since the 70s. He's remembered as a very fun loving guy with an outrageous laugh that could make anyone smile. Passionate about the environment and just an overjoyous man. He was just a very unique person. Oh. Everyone loved him, and um, he was fun, he was mischievous, he was always pulling jokes on you. Peter is described as a caring, nurturing person. He studied nursing at Santa Barbara City College. He worked as an end-of-life caretaker. He and his partner of nearly 20 years, Ralph Lalo Barajas, were sleeping in their Hot Springs Road home when the flash flood hit. A close family friend related Lalo's last moments with Peter. All filled up with water. And they got on top of the vanities in the bathroom to be above the water. And his partner, uh, Lalo, said that um, when the house buckled, Peter said, grab on to a tree or something and hold on tight, which would be <sighs> so typical, Peter, to be thinking of somebody else. Great loss to many people. We've learned that Lalo's partner, or excuse me, we learned that Peter's partner Lalo has now been released from the hospital, is doing okay. Peter's family is now on their way from upstate New York. Now behind me, what you are looking at is crew still working on Highway 101. There is an OES search team standing by watching to see if any victims have been pulled from the mud. They're still working on this area and there are really heavy machinery looking through all this mud and taking the debris off of the highway so they can get cars back on this, hopefully by Monday. Live and local Montecito, Megan Abundas, KSBY News. All right, thanks, Megan.